guys welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well if you knew how heavy these bags were trying to lift it for that thumbnail you might have looked at the thumbnail and thought we can't really see much of the home bargains bag shan let me tell you right these are heavy you ready <clears throat> one and this one my goodness me two so I don't quite know how we're going to do this because we all know if I've got a bag either side of us, I start getting a little bit tetchy, don't I? But my lovelies, it is my favourite time of the month. Apart from when we do a Primark haul, I think. We all know that I love a good home bargains haul. So we have two jam-packed bags filled with snacks, presents, Christmas household bits, maybe some more decorations because there's still a few little odd bits on the tree so when we went down there mama g picked up a few bits may or may not be some candles some candy canes i mean we are in the month of december my lovely so if you're not festive now then i failed i have failed because i should have been getting you festive from the first of november when my first christmas upload started and i say i hope i have been getting you in the festive spirit if not let me know down below and let me know what i can do to make you feel festive so my lovelies i'm going to stop rabbiting because there is a heap of stuff in these bags and i need to quite figure out how we're going to do this because i'm going to start getting agitated and i so yes get comfy my lovelies get that hot drink whether it be a hot chocolate a mulled wine a tea coffee an iced coffee a gingerbread latte a little soft drink or even a glass of h2o water and let's get in with our december christmas home bargain haul. <laughs> right we're gonna go with it this way and do one bag at a time so First thing is first, let's kick it off. Not very Christmassy, but it's a necessity. One pound Airwick Fresh Water Fresh Up. Now, who remembers these from, I think it was summer, mum got some. We got this one and the mixed berries. Lovely fresh scent. You literally just put it up and that is your air freshener and then you dunk it in, give it a swirl, mix it around the little liquid and then pop it up again. It says it lasts up to eight weeks. We found we got pretty much, I think about three months out of ours. I think this one, however, is for Dada because he's been saying to mum he needs some new little homely bits. So I think that could be for him because everything festive is me and Mama G. So if it's not festive, it's probably Dada, all right? Oh, I don't know what to get into. Right, let's go with this home bargains decorations oh my goodness i could do a whole new treat just on home bargains decorations they are so affordable as well so this one my lovelies was one pound 29 one pound 29 so it is simply just one of the largest bougiest baby pink clear crystalled bauble and then on the top it's just got like some little gems we've got some pearls some little droplets just a little bit fancy you know and as i say there are still a few little odds and bobs on the trees so best believe that after these last little additions then we should be having any more spaces and it should be fingers crossed every single tree complete i'm gonna have to put these on the bed that's the only thing i quite like this setup because i have the bed right here so i can just dump everything there instead of having to lean across to the table you know but anyway shannon lee will rabbit him the uh, christmas sweet buckets are getting a little deflated if i do say so myself so i saw these and these were right up my street 99p from cadbury dairy milk jingly bells hazelnut creme oh my goodness yes please they also do them i believe in orange so chocolate orange but we all know hazelnut your girl is a sucker for however the bag doesn't seem to be as filled as it was last year look oh no cadbury come on it's like a quarter of the way filled and i'm sure they've made when they wrap them these end bits bigger I mean, look, why do you need that much wrapping either side? I'd rather reduce that and have a few more chocolates. So I think they will all be going in my little sweet bucket. And hopefully we've got something else for uh, Brandon in here to top up his. Because he has gone through his. Well, he went through his on the first day that he come round on the 1st of November. And I was like, what are you doing? He was like, it's my sweet bucket. I was like, no, it wasn't filled yet. 
So then I keep refilling it, but he never lets me get it to the point where it is restocked perfectly because he's always eating in there. So yes. Oh my goodness. We're going to leave that for a minute. This. Yes, I am a child. I think this was 129, 150. I got jingle bells. Oh my god. Yes. I'm 26, I've never owned a pair of Jingle Bells, and guess what, this year I do, the year of 2021 is the year that I own my own Jingle Bells, not going to lie, I pick these up more so that when we see Bubba, I can take my Jingle Bells with her, I don't think her mum and dad would appreciate me leaving them with her, because it might be a little bit noisy, but I can take them down for when I'm there, and then it's element or you can do like mr miyagi style with it i do apologize if you was listening through headphones there my lovelies i am so in the spirit better stop it because my ears are actually starting to ring myself so as i say i do apologize for that little uh, loud little outburst there but yes 149 129 they was under two pound i saw them i was like i can't get them for bubs just yet because she might not know what it is and the noise might actually scare her i might get there and be like jingle jingle and she might scream in my face so i thought you know what i can have them this year and then when she's a little bit older next year she might want to partake in some jingle bells with her auntie shannon and i won't be complaining right there is so much festivities in here i don't know what to get right we're just gonna go and oh no I've got itchy eye me candy canes are broken. Oh, well, that's all right. I suppose it stops me breaking them in half. You know what? I find so annoying when I have a candy cane, having to split it in half myself, and then you have to start peeling it all, and it all gets sticky. But I picked up 12 candy canes for one pound. As I say, the two middle ones are a little bit battered, but hey-ho, still going to taste great nevertheless. Yes, hi, my name is Shannon, and I do have an absolute candy cane fetish addiction, guilty pleasure, secret addiction, whatever you want to call it. As soon as candy canes are in the shop, your girl's having it. And if we go to, I don't know, the supermarkets, a garden centre, a shopping centre, anywhere there is a candy cane, you best believe your girl's having it. Because, yeah, I absolutely love them. And I wish it was something you could get all year round. But you can't. And as soon as I see them, you know it's Christmas. But I do like to have a little stock up. So, yeah, I think I might be popping back before Christmas just to, like, get a good stash of candy canes to do me throughout the year. Because, as I say kind of go through quite a lot of them don't know where it comes from because mama g don't like them and dada doesn't like them but i love a good candy cane so i think this might be for dada as well would have been 79.99p duck toilet cleaner in the scent forest so that's kind of Christmassy, isn't it i do want to get down to my local savers if i can so if i do get down there and there's a good little bit you might have a savers haul coming because i think it's is it surf or sif They've got like that winter woodland themed cleaning products out. So I want to have a little look down there if I can. Ah! Let's go with this, shall we? So this was 99p and it is a panettone with chocolate chips. And this was Mama G's find. She wanted to hang this on the Christmas tree. And I said to her, what is the likelihood that it's going to stay on the Christmas tree, Mum? Like, last year and the year before, we tried hanging the candy canes and the sweets on the tree. It never works. They never last. Because every time you go in there, I'll just end up nicking the candy canes. So I said, maybe we'll just have this to actually eat. I think I've only ever had panettone once. But it says it's a traditionally styled Italian studded panettone made with delicious chocolate chips. Why not try toasting it, eating it plain with a festive drink or slathering it in butter? So Mama G wanted to try that. As I say, I think we've only ever had it once. I'm not entirely sure. We might have picked one up from a garden centre a couple of years ago. But I think it's just like a chocolate chip bread to be perfectly honest, my lovelies. So yes, that went straight in. And then we all know... If you do not go to the bargain shops and pick up drinks, 
what are you doing you are missing out on a trick so i got i've had these before they're called naturally sugar-free nexpa i got strawberry and raspberry oh i've got two of the same sparkling water now i know it's gonna be a love hate very unpopular opinion i love a bit of sparkling water i know it's not to everyone's taste but hey ho that's why we're all unique and individual these my lovelies are one litre for 19 or 29p mind blown so as i say if you do know anyone who loves a bit of sparkling water get them down to home bargains and i think last time i picked up was it a mango one something a bit more tropical but as i say that was clearly all they had and that was what i picked up oh my goodness there is bits of everything and anything in here let's have a look right i've been getting really snacky lately i don't know if it's because i'm overindulging in candy canes mince pies puddings custard everything sweet my savory tooth is kicking in kick 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 kicking in to high heavens above so i picked up for 99p a six pack of beef space raiders now correct me if i'm wrong these packs are getting smaller and smaller so does that not mean that the price should be halved if you're half in the size of the packet very very sad because i'm not gonna lie it says six bags in there i could easily polish off three in one sitting and that probably is because i'm a gannet but i like my food and if i have a snack i want it to somewhat fill me up honestly like you get one of them packs you get about four or five little heads in there it's not going to fill up a growing girl is it one pack however that i don't think shrinks is seabrook and again a beefy flavor six for one pound almost drops you there these i don't think the sizes are getting smaller this is a nice old-fashioned classic crisp i think dada likes the is it cheese and onion one of these mama likes ready salted and beefy all the way beefy all the way you know your girl loves her meat so of course beefy crisps yes please or sensations chicken and thyme only when they're on offer though i'm not paying two pound a bag when you have your club card offer in tesco and they're down to a quid guess what your girl snaps a few of them up right don't shout at me okay can i ever go home bargains and not pick up candles no nah. so for 99p you get four hours out of them warm apple and cinnamon scented tea lights oh my god my lovelies they are adorable so you get 18 tea lights for 99p four hours out of them and you know what wickford and co i do need to still try their big candles i just have a fear if you've been following me for a while you know what it is but the tea lights you cannot go wrong i wish they would do diffusers i haven't seen diffusers for a long time there and i remember last year we was able to pick up the wickford and co gingerbread tea lights with the gingerbread diffuser but my store just hasn't had it and i don't know why but the stores in the southeast of england this year i don't feel got really christmasy i keep seeing everything online and it's all northern stores and i think you know what i think it's telling me i need to go up north because the southern stores this year like my primark not even going to get into it but they still didn't have any christmas bags when i was there and i mean that just it broke my heart absolutely broke my heart and as i say home bargains they was almost there with our christmas bits but it was still like they was holding back on me i was like what are you doing i tell you what i didn't hang back on this was 99p and i thought this was a blooming great idea so it's a magnetic candle topper so what i get the gist of i'm just looking i haven't got any metal lids nearby or actually could i do that I just need to see because i don't actually know if these are magnetic no that's not magnetic what's a magnetic lid my lovelies ah i don't want to smash everything come on is this a magnetic lid oh right so it is if you've got say like a plain topped candle it's a little candle topper and as i say it's magnetic but i've just realized the majority of my candles aren't magnetic so well it's just going to be a nice little decoration ain't it and also because it's got the little uh, hangy thing on you might be able to get away with it as a nice creed deck and as i say this was 99p i am a sucker for those little things as i say it sounds great magnetic candle topper yes please and then as i've just worked out i don't actually have many magnetic candle tops but hey ho nevertheless have no fear 
festivities are here we are still gonna go with it all right my lovelies oh look at mama g picking herself up some little socks bless her so these were i think 69 or 79p and they're just ladies novelty socks size four to eight and look bless her she's got a little reindeer and a little snowman you know what i need to get back down to primark actually because I need to start getting some bits for our christmas eve box as you all know we always either get slippers but the slippers like my slippers especially are quite ridiculous i've got one two three four but oh eight pairs but that's without my arcs <laughs> so i don't think i'm getting slippers this year so i think mama g's gonna go through like the sock vibe so we need to get down and try and get some matching pjs because again my primark oh my god the christmas pajama selection not impressed at all but this isn't about primark it's like you will uh i'm sure you will hear about that in the primark haul but yeah let's just uh not even get into it right oh my god i know this isn't christmasy but I had to get another one. If you remember throughout summer, I lived off this stuff. I loved making my own lemon tea. They didn't have it for months and months. And then would you look at that? I've got another one. I have got another one. So it is lemon tea by Quench. You do it hot, you do it cold. I love doing it cold. I would do a big batch, put it in the fridge, and then you're good to go. Put it in a tumbler, bit of uh, ice. Absolutely love it. Lipton, eat your heart out. A pan for 285 grams. And how much would you make out of this? My God. Three tablespoons will get you 1.1 litre. You'll probably get about 100 litres out of this. My mouth is probably going to seem shocking there. But yeah, you get a lot, a lot of iced tea out of it, my lovelies. That's all I'm going to say, all right? Mm. Of course. It's not really a Christmassy snack, but I still wanted some. These are the sweet chilli rice thins. Oh my God. If you know, you know. 99p mama g normally gets the green ones which are sour cream and chive red ones ready salted you cannot get them anywhere now i don't know what i don't know what's happened have you discontinued them but who are you rice snacks can you let a girl know if you're watching this you're absolutely not but hey ho if you stop doing the ready salted because my heart is a little bit broken i go down those aisles trying to look for the red packaging and all i can see is green and orange or sometimes a blue which i think is is it like a vinegar one which mm, not a bit of me thank you right what else have we got ah bargain perfect for this time of the year and perfect just for a stock up in general all right so these are the heinz big soups these were three for a pound three for a quid so i'm just going to show you like that because i don't really want to be dropping them on me tootsie but the first one we got was chicken and bacon absolutely love a heinz big soup this is my personal favorite steak and potato nice little classic one there and then this one i don't think i've actually tried before minted lamb these are absolutely perfect take a roll into work or a nice bit of bread and butter you've got your soups good to go they fill you up they're a nice hearty lunch good and substantial what is going on with my phone today people excuse me very very rude as I was saying, yeah, soups, absolutely love it. You would have seen throughout autumn, all we done, we lived off pumpkin soup, chicken and pumpkin soup, pumpkin and root veg soup, pumpkin and lentil curry. Soups, casseroles, everything is just my go-to. And as I say, especially now the casseroles are coming out, we're going to be doing a broth end of the month. Oh my God. A broth, if you don't know, it's a northern dish. Google it. Probably doesn't look that appetising, but my God, does it taste delicious? Yes, it does. So, yes, anything hearty and substantial is what I need. We have another little ball ball. Well, it's not little. It's quite huge. This one was £1.49, but, I mean, come on. Look, it's like white faux fur, and then you've got all these little crystals on the top. Absolutely love it. For £1.50... You didn't have to tell me and Mama G twice. It went straight in the trolley. Right, what have we got in here? These are good. Oh, I thought it was two. I've got one. Bottle bags. Now, I don't know about you, but there is always someone at Christmas that I will always get a bottle no matter what. And sometimes the gift bags, if you go in like Tesco or your mainstream supermarkets, are so expensive. This was 39p, my lovelies. Nice little warm wishes, little uh, bottle bag. You've got Christmas jumpers, hats absolutely love it 39p you cannot go wrong and if you like mama g 
and say she gives me a present in a bag she'll never write on the tag because then she'll take it back off of us and then I'll reuse it for her birthday or we'll reuse it for a friend or a neighbour anything like that as soon as you write on the tags that's it it's done but yeah she never writes on the tags right I'll tell you another thing that Mama G has been banging on I'm trying to see you can't see it she has been banging on and on and on and on about this. I've had this sitting in here for about, not even long, under a week. She has not stopped banging on about these. So if you are American, you will obviously know what a Twinkie is. Here in, I was going to say here in America, I wish, I wish. I mean, here in England, we don't have Twinkies. And they're starting to become a bit more popular in like sweet shops because you get all the US imported bits and some little supermarkets you may get them. But they are expensive. If you go into London for a Twinkie, you can pay up to £3 for one Twinkie. Three quid for one Twinkie. So me and Mama G, we have to be in a right mood to see one and we fancy it. We went into Home Bargains, and I don't know if this was a typo or something, but they had a box of 10 for £3. So that is the same price as it will cost you for one in London, potentially, and you can get a box of 10 30p a Twinkie, Mama G ripped my arm off and went and grabbed this and chucked it in the trolley. I was thinking she was going to pick up quite a few, but she just picked up the one. Twinkies, my lovelies. Now, if you don't know what a Twinkie is, please do not read on the back the calories because it's going to scare you. They are potentially the most calorific sweet I've ever eaten, but my God are they good and when you go into like the american stores in london they have ones with like chocolate filling peanut butter filling banana filling strawberry these are just the classic ones which i think it just says golden sponge cake with a creamy filling i think it's just like a um, vanilla but yes if you love twinkies or you know someone who loves like a little sweet candy 10 for three pounds in home bargains do not be ripped off in your supermarket paying one to two pound for just one go there actually i better check i bet you they're like mini ones Oh, she'll have a right mare on if there are mini ones. Let's have a look. She's going to have a mare that I've opened them because she'll think that I've eaten it. But no, I'm just checking. Are they standard size for you, mother? Yes. So this is what they look like if you've never seen a Twinkie before. So it's literally like a golden Victoria sponge cake. And then when you break in the middle, you see all like the little inserts for the cream. Absolutely love it. So, yes, yeah, she's going to be very happy that I've now filmed this and that she can finally get her hands on her Twinkies, eh? <laughs> and then we're still going with the first bag, my lovelies. As I say, this is a huge haul. I'm going to try and speak a little bit faster, but as I say, you know what we're here for when it's come to these times of months with the hauls, my lovelies. They're going to be bigger and better. Picked up two super rices. Again, if you go to the bargain shops and you don't pick up the drinks or you don't pick up the rices, what are you doing? 25p super rice. I got a Chinese and a beef flavour. Just got them. Again, they are great for work. Very handy just for like a quick dinner. If say you've got some chicken or some meat or fish, anything in the uh, oven, chuck this on the hob. What's it? 10 minutes, you're good to go. I did think as well when I first saw the packaging of these, thinking like, come on. You're taking the mick now with the packaging, but I think it's the same because when it cooks up, I'm not any more hungry than I would be before. These are for Dada, £1.50, I believe, or under two quid. Two XXL right guards. Mama G said, Do you need anything? He said, Need some deodorant. Might as well get it when we're doing our shop and you can be included in the haul, eh? Oh, another thing Mama G's been banging on about. I ain't got none. Kitchen roll. This huge one is 100 sheets per pack of buffalo, strong when wet, one pound. One pound for a nice little kitchen roll, kind of like the uh, Huan Shi does plenty, you know. But yeah, you can get a pack of three, I think, for 150, which obviously works out cheaper. But mum said, just need the one for the minute. Don't get carried away. She said, we're trying to like rein it in with the spending. And I'm like, have you seen what we've got in these bags, Mama G? But as I say, nothing is a waste with us, my lovelies. Right. Oh, my God. I am so excited to try these. So our home bargains had a little section down the crisp bowl. And it was almost like artisan crisps. Like stuff that you think you would find in like farm shops and like garden centres. One pound. I'm telling you, they wouldn't be a quid in a garden centre. Let me tell you that. And it's the Tato Craft 
hand cooked chips in slow roasted beef and peppercorn flavour. Look at those. I do have a feeling, however, they're going to have a little bit of a kick. But I don't mind that in a nice little thing. Or I might give them to Dada if I'm feeling generous. Because actually, did I buy them for him in the first place? I don't know. I have these like good intentions when I get there. But then the belly overrules everything. And if your girl's hungry, your girl's hungry, all right? Also picked up a two-pack for 50p. Dextro Energy, as we all know, I'm hypoglycemic. Basically, it's a form of diabetes, but where normally people's blood sugars are high, mine are always low. So I have to keep stuff like this in the car, in my handbag, to make sure that if my sugar plummets, I didn't crash the car or do anything bad or collapse. That is like an instant glucose fix for me. So yes, a lot better than going into like Holland and Barrett and paying through the roof for it, let me tell you that. 99p, a kosher sea salt grinder not kosher shannon lee co spice why on earth was i thinking kosher that's jewish ay 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 shannon so it's a co spice sea salt grinder as i say about 99p we've still got a pepper one but our salt one i think we used it and then mama g not thinking that like we can just buy the granules to top it up i think she just chucked it all so when i went to look and i was like where's the grinder she was like oh so we've just been using, is it AXA or, it's not OXO, AXA TAXA, just like the little table salt, you know, but can't be a bit of proper sea salt, you know. Another pack of tea lights, French vanilla, absolutely love them, nothing more to say, 18 for a quid once again, and I also try and get, when I get them, you might not notice, you might do, I try and get colours that will complement each other. So I think like a nice cream with a nice little burgundy, we are good to go. And then the last few final things in this one, my lovelies. I can't seem to get lazy garlic on offer anywhere. And I begrudge paying 180 for lazy garlic. So I saw this and I think it was like 60p. And it is just a chopped garlic in marinade. So this is kind of my dupe for lazy garlic because, yes, I am a lazy. Can't be bothered to do all the garlic. But it's great just to pop in when you're done and dusted and then this was 199 it is airwick essential oils winter berries seasonal edition absolutely love this and also look at the little festive design on them absolutely love these i say because once they're all gone we wash them out and then we can reuse the holders as long as the holders don't get damaged when we're cleaning them out we're good to go and then the last thing in this bag my lovelies you all know I love splendid syrups, but the bottles used to be plastic. That probably shows how long I haven't bought them for because all of my bottles are plastic in there. But same price, same style, 250ml hazelnut flavour, 99p. But as I say, it is now a glass bottle. So, don't quite know. It's sugar-free and suitable for vegans. But yes, a little uh, hazelnut syrup, absolutely lovely and we're only halfway through, my darling. So get comfy and let's get back for part two with a very, very jam-packed bag two for part two of Home Bargains Hall. Shannon, get your words out, all right? <laughs> We're just going to dunk this one here and see how we go, all right? But we need to try and get this pronto because I have a feeling this video is going to be very, very long by that little time up there. So I got these. There were three bags. They were three for a pound, but someone got a little bit peckish last night. And when I went out and heard the bag rustling, Mama G had actually took one. So I do apologise for that. She was eating the stock before we filmed it. But Fairfield's Farm Roast Turkey and Stuffing at Crisp. Now, if you remember last year, I got something. I don't know if it was the same brand, but they had a flavour in it. Oh, my God. I was sitting eating the packs through the home bargain store, if you remember. Absolutely divine. So, yes, three for a pound, but I've only got two because Mum and G got a bit peckish. We have got a lot of stuff in this. Right. 99p again. 98 calories per serving. The Skinny Cookie Co. with chocolate chip cookies. So, we all know the Skinny Food Co. They do, like, the sauces, the syrups, everything like that. And the like nutella choc pot dips i absolutely love but i haven't ever seen cookies so i thought pick them up a little bit of a snack just like see how we go you know oh and then these are always handy to have because i had a terrible cold probably about 
two, three weeks ago, and it really knocked us out. I was really ill end of October as well, coming into November. So I saw these, and I think they were something like 50 or 60p each. They are blocked nose relief capsules because I was having really bad trouble with my sinuses, and I don't know why I was just getting phlegm, probably TMI, that I could not shift. I couldn't bring it up. I couldn't sneeze it out. I couldn't swallow it, it was there. And if you've been ill and you've had that, you know how uncomfortable and just the most irritating thing it ever is. Like I was, it's way TMI, but hey, we're all friends here. You know when you have to almost like hock it up? Is that the word, hoik it up? When you're like, I'm not gonna do the noise, but you know what it's like. And then I got a little bit worried because it was like blood. I got it all checked out, everything was fine. Um, I think it was where I was straining my like vo vocal cords is it or like your throat trying to bring it up obviously but yeah i had that for about two weeks and even now i still get the odd morning i'll wake up and i will just feel it there and i try everything under the sun to get it gone so we've got those then i also picked up some cold relief capsules these are non-drowsy when i'm ill and i take paracetamols i'm drowsy central so it's I, that's why i don't really tend to take tablets because it always has like an adverse reaction to me, but these are non-drowsy and it says it helps with aches and pains, sinus congestion, nasal congestion, headache, catarrh and feverishness. And as I say, see how they go. I'm not about paying all through the roof for medication unless I really, really need it. I mean, phlegm, it wasn't lovely, but it was manageable and I could kind of deal with it. But nevertheless, we're a lot better now and Fingers crossed, touch wood, no more illnesses are before Christmas, right? Let's have a look. We got these. So, Robert Shaw's, you may remember, I have featured them quite a few times. They do preserves, they do chutneys, they do like condiments, like mustards and that. And they also do like goose fat, beef dripping, all of that jazz. So, normally the one cow spray, I can't remember the brand yellow bottle that's like 150 a bottle they had these two for a quid so i thought hey ho oil is oil so we've got two robert shaw's sunflower spray oil these are a lot better because all we've got in there at the moment is garlic oil and i don't know about you i love garlic don't get me wrong but when i'm having a bacon sarni i don't really want my bacon to be tasting the garlic i just want my bacon to be nice and crispy and well done and be like oil so i've actually been using butter to cook it in which if you've seen on the log cabins is what me and brandon actually use when we do our fry ups when we're away so yes lisa got a little bit of oil and robert shaw's i would highly recommend right probably didn't need these because guess what my lovelies the car has still not been cleaned every month i buy things for my car her name is bug aka my little darling and i've still not got her cleaned so i think these are just gonna go in and hopefully in the summer we'll get you smelling good again girl all right so these were one pound and i have got two millions so we've got one which is the one in the million cola 99p and then i've also got the sour strawberry love it and you know what these are great if you've got someone who maybe has just passed their test or they're an avid car lover these are a quid like just like to sang to go with our christmas presents or even just a little treat absolutely love them and home bargains are great didn't want to pop me crisp there home bargains are great they do the febreze they do so many brands like mighty tree i think it's called the ones that's in the shape of a foot a lollipop everything like that let's have a look right you will have seen in last month's, I picked up some lounge pants for Brandon. Just as like a little stocking filler, you know. Oh my God. Oh, good job I just remembered that. This is what I mean. I film stuff, put it away, and then I completely forgot because I'll probably be getting his present bits out in a couple of weeks. But I was just about to order him another lounge set. And I've already got him one from last month, so I need to take that off my Amazon order. Good, good job I checked that before I placed the order tonight. But I picked these up for Dada. So they are a size large, £10, or were they eight? Eight to £10, I'm going to say. And they are men's lounge pants with Homer on. Because we all know Dada likes a little bit of a bit. So he loves watching Simpsons. I got him a Simpsons little... Um... What's the word? Simpsons felt decoration that you'll see in the Primark haul coming up. So there's a little sneak peek for you. But yes, absolutely love a bit of Simpsons. So I thought I'd pick that up for him. 
Oh my god, are these just not the cutest things you've ever seen? So these were one pound forty nine. Look, they're little hanging booties for the tree. Absolutely love it. And you know what? They're so adorable because Bubba, she's like starting to wear shoes now. And like these are like the size of her little shoes. Absolutely love that. And as I say, just a nice little touch again. If you know someone, this could be a great thing. If you know someone who's just had a baby or is expecting a baby around Christmas time, something to hang on their tree for like their first little Christmas stick. Oh my God, I cannot wait until Bubba has a tree in her room. If she ever has a tree in her room, Auntie Shannon is going to be there to decorate it because we all know I'm just in my festive mode, ain't I? Tell you what, I cannot wait to use. Glade Air Freshener, 99p, Spice, Apple and Cinnamon, Limited Edition. This is what Christmas is all about for me, my lovelies. Glades Air Fresheners. Oh. Just hits differently, doesn't it? Let's put that there. Absolutely love that. And we all know I love scents no matter what. This was Mama G as well. Oh, my God. She's like a child. So this, I think, was 60 or 70p. And they are milk chocolate coins, but she likes them because they're in this little um, nutcracker box. And then you just open it up and you've got your coins in it. And again, she wanted it to hang on the tree. I might actually hang this on the tree because I think I was going to put this away for like a little Christmas Eve box. But she knows about it now, so I might just hang it on the tree and do like a hide and seek with her and see if she can find it. Not going to tell her what tree, where it is whether it's high, low, in the middle, whatever. And then also, good old Mama G, she loves her pastas, which again, we normally pick three up for 120 and there's only two in here. So she's obviously took them again, hasn't she? So yes, roast chicken pasta, three for 120, but we've only got two at the moment. As I say, I'm not really a roast chicken fan on pasta, but Mama G is, as we all know. This is a godsend. Absolute godsend. It's about 70 or 80p. Napolina grated cheese. As we all know, I love Napolina range. Pizza bases, pasta sauces, everything. Love it. Grated cheese. You know for them days when you're, say, having a nice spag bowl or something, don't really fancy, like, getting the cheddar out and grating it. Do, 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 do. Good to go. You feel like you're in Prezzo or Zizi's having a nice little lovely bowl of Italian pasta, my lovelies. And then on that note, because obviously we've got that, these... I have repurchased these again and again. I sometimes get the ones with the tomatoes in as well, sun-dried tomatoes. But this is by a slightly different brand. I think it's all the same, to be honest. They are roasted red peppers, and this one is by the brand Alina. And these were £1, but honestly, my lovelies, if you do homemade pizzas, even like pastas, rigatonis, ragu, stuff like this, these are so handy to put in. And I say, on top of a pizza, just like ladle it over absolutely divine and the last two things my lovelies six pack of smoky bacon golden wonder now i don't know if these are mama g's or dada's we all love a bit of golden wonder i love smoky bacon mama g i think is cheese and onion dada's prawn cocktail these could be mine i can't remember <laughs> I don't know how much of uh, my savoury tooth kicked in that day. And then the last thing, last but not least, let's get it out back. Ba -ba -ba. 15 bottles. I think this was £3 Highland Spring because we all know hydration is key, my lovelies. And would you look at that? Both bags are finally done. <laughs> So, I mean, the home bargains hauls are always a big one on this channel, aren't they? But the month of December... They just get even bigger, don't they? They literally get to the point where I can't carry the bags. But as I say, this makes me sad because this is potentially the last home bargain tour of 2021. Oh my God, another year. It feels like yesterday that I was sitting in the living room with my red hair in my Christmas pyjamas saying the exact same thing but this is the last home bargains haul of 2020 and here we are a year later and I'm still doing my home bargains hauls because guess what I love spending I love food and you guys seem to love it too so guess what we're going to carry on with it my lovelies but as I say home bargains do I go down there again I don't I don't think my bank balance would allow it to be perfectly honest my lovelies but as I say you never know 
if we pop down you'll probably see it in a weekly vlogmas because i doubt i'll be picking up enough stuff for hauls it would just be like little odds and bobs so as i say make sure you stay tuned for vlogmas which is coming very very soon where you can spend all the weeks with me and mama g in the lead up to christmas and as i say we have five weeks of vlogmas over on this channel starting from the first sunday in december running all the way through to the first sunday in january where we kick start the new year goodbye 2021 hello 2022 that worries me next year i am 27 i really should be adulting by now shouldn't i but i'm not i'm sitting here loving life with my jingle bells again apologies if you was listening with headphones my lovelies but yes i'm going to stop rabbiting because now i need to do the mammoth task of putting this all away and deciding whose crisps are who and putting Dada's bits in his pile and Mama bits in her pile. But yes, as I say, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, leave me a comment. What was your best bit from the haul? Ow! God, I just slapped my knee a bit ferociously there. What was your best bit from the haul? What is your favourite thing about Christmas? Let me know. Is it the food? Is it the alcohol? Is it the memories? Is it spending time with the family? Is it gifts? Is it just the whole season itself? As I say, from 1st of November, it's Christmas here, all the way through to 31st of January. Because as I say, if you know us, me and Mama G, we do not like to take them down. It takes an entirety to put them back up. And yeah, they will probably stay up, I'd say at least half the way through January. We'll probably take them down mid jan because it just takes too long. And now we've got to find all the space to put all the new bits that we've bought, which there weren't even space for the old bits before, but we're just not going to get into that, all right? Anyway, I'm sitting here rambling as always. Will there ever be a day when I don't ramble? No, but this, my lovelies, is the last, as I say, potentially, I think it could be the last home bargain tool of 2021. So, yes, thank you so much. For watching all of these hauls i know you seem to love a good home bargains they're like one of my most populars along with my primarks and guess what they're still going to be here in 2022 you're not going to stop your girl buying food here let me tell you that but yes take care stay safe as always and i'll see you very soon for a new video which who knows what it's going to be but it's going to be filled with loads of festivities ain't it so i'll see you in the next one guys bye